These images belong to summer when the veggies and flowers are in Dante. But today, this is the reality. Welcome to this end of season tour on Romolo's kitchen and garden. Hello, welcome to the garden on this windy day. Another gardening season is over, look. This used to be our very healthy gourd. And this was the last fruit. <laughs> Severed by the frost. It's sad, but that's the reality. Look, no more flowers. No more flowers. Nevertheless, we had good harvest of flowers this year. I was able to make, I think, more than uh, 13 arrangements. policy in case the weather gets too wet and they get damaged by the water. Do you remember the coyote here weeks before or weeks ago? This is my attempt to overwinter it, hoping it will survive the winter and we would enjoy an early harvest of coyotes. Here Further here. Due to the cold, even the fish stop eating. I was told by the seller at the pet shop that they don't eat when the temperature is lower than 10 degrees. He advised me to feed them only when the temperature goes higher than 10. Here, the flowers here are also gone. At this point, how about a uh, look back on our beautiful flowers? And in an attempt to overwinter one of the chayotes, I also brought it here inside. If you remember, I potted it and now it's well protected. Though well protected even the straw and the greenhouse. I brought it here last week. Wish me luck, visit me again, and let's see if this survives. This, the asparagus, they also die, but they will come back. Well, that's my hope. Three more years before we are able to harvest asparagus. Composture. This area has been cleared. Oh, and compost has been applied to improve the soil. And I've got a new neighbor, I don't know what's their plan. On the other side, there's also a new, I, I don't know who's coming, but the house has been decommissioned. It's now empty. I just completed two gardening season at this area. It's my second year here now. And if you remember, I had this, this entire uh, shed at the other side. There were two ladies, big shout out to them, who helped me transfer the uh, materials piece by piece and we had to rebuild it here. It was small, but I added an extension. Those of you who have been watching our cooking and gardening series, this scene has been very familiar. We usually cook here. 
and sometimes we cook inside but we will soon be saying goodbye to this location because we have an upgrade we have just acquired a bigger lot there i'll show you the future side here it is with the forest on the background idyllic uh, scene but the biggest challenge is this this has to be broken there is an existing cabin this is a plan the pavements here all this will be moved here and i will build a greenhouse and this is the greenhouse of colors will be here on this side the house will be a shed or a cabin these trees have to go but it has to be transplanted there Before, what was moved was this part, this, until here. But at this side, I added this extension. It's the kitchen. With a view, look. With a view. <laughs> With a view. As we cook in there, inside, we have this view of the forest. And if we're lucky, we'll be having a choir of birds in there and the soloist would be an owl on that part. And this was our old sink, which was replaced by a better one. It's now, it now acts as a buffet table outside. <laughs> no, in fact, it's a potting table. Thank you for joining me today on this tour and I hope to have you again in coming months for perhaps our spring tour. For the meantime, I'll be cooking at the apartment, at the small kitchen there, as we eagerly look forward to another gardening here on Robilo's Kitchen and Garden. I'd like to leave you with these images of the blooms this year. Not much. Well, beautiful.